Hi, my brother, my sister, taking heed to today's message. I hope you are okay and God's sunshine is over you and uh, your family. Hallelujah. I'm super excited for today's message and I hope it's going to transform your life today. As I was uh, reading different books, including the Bible, I was uh, super motivated to share with you this message where you see it determines where you see in other words the chair you sit on determines where your eyes can see let's go to the word of god and find out what scriptures say the bible says in uh, ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 the bible says for he raised us from the dead along with christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. In other words, um, when you sit in a certain chair, you can see in a certain place. Some people may be seated in the same position or in the same area, but they don't see the same things. They can look, but they can't see the same things. When you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, God elevates you. And you may be with the same people in the same place, but you can't see the same things. Some people may be seeing trees when you are seeing favor. Some people may be seeing mountains when you are seeing the presence of God. That's, that's why where you sit determines what you are able to see and uh, where you sit also determines what you are supposed to do that's why when you choose to accept jesus christ as your personal lord and savior you are making a decision that impacts your life forever and the decision you have made will transform not only you but even people surrounding you because listen when you believe in God, you are lifted and you are put on a seat that is higher than other seats. And because of that, you can see beyond the corner. When people can see in the corner, for you can see beyond the corner. Because you have God who has elevated you, who has opened your eyes to see far beyond what other people can see. In other words, when you choose Jesus Christ today, he gives you new eyes, a new understanding, a new revelation. One day, Apostle Paul was talking to people, and uh, in another occasion, he was praying, and he said, I pray that the eyes of your understanding, hallelujah, the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened. We all have physical eyes. These eyes can see certain things. That's why you can look when you are with other people. You can look the same direction. But because you are using physical eyes, you can see what they don't see. Because looking is different from seeing. When you have the eyes of your understanding, you can see things hidden from other people. You can see how your vision is going to unfold. You can see the end from the beginning. That's why you have to always open the eyes of your understanding so that you can see what other people don't see. Where you sit determines what you see. I pray that you may understand this and allow God to elevate you and put you higher so that you can see beyond the horizon. I pray that God may also speak to your heart and open the eyes of your understanding so that you can see the hidden treasures. Those hidden treasures are what make us special from other people. We are special because we have God. There are two categories of people. There are people for God and they are children of God. When you are a child of God, you see what God sees. When you are not a child of God, you see what the world sees. So that's why where you sit determines what you see. Where is your place? Where is your position? Do you want God to elevate you? 
Do you want God to lift you higher? The decision is for you to make. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord today. And once you do that, He will make you a new creation. The Bible says, the past is gone and the new has come. In other words, the past of you who is limited to what you see is gone and you are pleasant or the new has come. A person with new eyes, new vision and a new atmosphere. God bless you. And remember this, life is a journey full of choices. It depends on what you make in the decisions you make. It depends on all the choices that are there, what you choose to do, that will make you who you want to be, not what the world wants you to be. God bless you.